Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, repair a Mac Pro 5,1 2009, 2010, 2012 um, that's got broken clips on the PCH or North Bridge or whatever you want to call it. It's the chip that's on the um, processor board. Uh, I'll show you one sec. So here's the processor board. You can see down there, right, one little clip there. There's one under this heat sink, so I'm, I'm going to remove the heat sinks and I'll come back to the video. I've got these, right, which is four washers, two little nuts and two little bolts, like, which are made of nylon plastic, so I can replace the, um, the clips. I'm going to use the original springs as well, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here we are. I've took off the heat sinks and cleaned the um, thermal paste off the processors. Right, you see this? This is the PCH or Northbridge or um, IOH, whatever you want to call it. I call it a PCH. Right, so you see these little plastic clips? They're not very good light, and I'm going to remove them. So what you get is some long nose pliers. Flip the board over. All right. And push up on the top. Push up on the on the little notch. And push the pins in at the sides. That's one. These are not very good, though, like, because they're about to break. So I'm replacing them because the heat sink's not level. I don't think. It's overheating, so this is going to sort the problem out. Okay, so turn it back over. One's just fell out. As you can see, there's the heat sink, and there's the PCH. Um, So, what we're going to do is get these little clips that are on it and I'm going to take the springs off of them. Right? So there's one spring. There's the other spring. Right. What we're going to do is just going to wipe this thermal paste off of um, the heat sink. Get the thermal paste off the PCH. As good as I can with a rag. And then not the camera. And then some isopropyl alcohol. I'm just going to clean the top of the um, PCH. Make sure there's no paste left on it. And I'm going to clean the heat sink as well. I'm going to get one of the screws, one of the, not screws, the springs, a little spring. I get one of these nylon threads, these are 3 mil 16, 3 mil thread or M3, and they're 16 mil long. I'm going to put the original spring on there, as you can see. And that's going to go on there, right? Same with the other side. Get one of the washers, put a washer on, get 
the spring. Put the spring on and put the spring in the PCH heat sink. So that's ready to go. I've got to put some thermal paste on. So I'll be right back. Okay, so there we are. I've put some thermal paste on the um, PCH. This, um, use this. MX4 Arctic Silver. And now we're going to put the heat sink on the PCH. In fact, I'm going to take one of the little springs out. But I need to put this one in first. Right. So I'm going to turn the board over. Put a little washer on. And then put the little nylon nut on. Just finger tight. So it's not dead tight and turn it back and same with the other side put the washer on put the little nut on right so they're just finger tight at the minute so that's just finger tight so needs to be a certain pressure I would imagine like but I can't see it being a problem like a little bit too much pressure a little bit less pressure um, I'm just looking for a screwdriver there it is right so what I'm gonna do is hold the nut at the bottom and I'm gonna do this up until it's a couple of mil away from there, same with this one. So they're about the same. Make sure your heat sinks on nice. It's looking good. So they look about the same. You see the About the same height. Maybe this one is a bit more than that one, but so let's give this one a, a little turn. So looks about the same now. Plug the sensor back in, and I'm going to put some Arctic Silver on the processors and put the heat sinks back on, and I'll be back. So I've got my thermal paste on the heat, the processors. If you want to know how I get it on so smooth like, um, I use an artist paintbrush just to paint it on. So it's just a thin layer. Don't need a lot, just a thin layer. Just enough so it transfers the heat to the heat sink. And now I'm going to put the heat sinks back on, so I'll be right back. So here we are with the processor heat sinks back on everything ready to go and I'll come back to you on the computer to show you the temperatures okay so here we are on the computer um, as you can see the PCH die is at 66 and the PCH heat sink is at 53 which is not too bad actually right, considering I'm running a 3.46 gigahertz processor, well two of them, six cores each. So yeah, seems to have done the trick because it was running about 72, 73, something like that. So it seems to be fine now. So if you like the video, Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.